All right, checking all our traps. There's one mouse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Hopefully that's the whole family. I don't want to. I don't want to have to to kill them in that way. But I can't keep them out of the shop, and they're tearing everything up. So I can't get a cat to hunt them. So I'm not down here enough. Unfortunately, it's kind of the only humane way to to find a balance here. So yeah, I'm letting the four wheeler warm up a little bit. The morning hunt is over. I did see a really big. Uh, well, I say big, big for South Carolina, or big for my area of South Carolina. Uh, at least an eight point, but he was about 200 yards off, and I wasn't taking that shot with the conditions, so uh, I just couldn't guarantee I'd hit him the way the sun was in my face. So, kind of like it is right now. Oh man, let me show y'all. It's a beautiful day today. All right, I'll show you kind of where the shot was. Y'all can be the judge. All right, so right there's my lazy boy stand. I call it my lazy boy stand because like, well, it's like what? maybe 20 yards from the shop it's my uh i got up late and i ran out here real quick stand but you can obviously see where the sun's at and if we're looking there's my feeder and at the very very back way back here is where he walked out and walked straight across it was just so God bless America, that's bright today. Anyway, it was just uh, so quick. I got the rifle up and I actually saw him in the scope, but it just wasn't worth taking the shot and missing. So, I'll come back later and get at it. I've already swapped out the memory cards uh, from the cameras, I already refilled the feeders, checked the batteries on everything. We're all good to go. I just need this four wheeler to. Uh, run out of gas so I can uh, put some additive in it then I'll pack up go grab something to eat and come back this afternoon see you soon